are back for another game, which is Minnesota State versus Cornell. Big Red versus the Mavericks in this second and final game of the final Frozen Four here. So excited, so, I'm so excited. One a 58 for uh, MSU and uh, 57 for Cornell. So this is a game that many would have expected. The number two versus number three here. It, are the Mavericks number two or number three? The Mavericks are number two and Cornell is number three. So the Mavericks have to wear the gold uniforms here. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, Starting off, the Big Red now, uh, although the Mavericks won the faceoff, looks like the Big Red is coming down here. <clears throat> so, for the Big Red here, um, they've had a they've had a pretty good tournament. They ended up, uh, whoa, ooh, <laughs> looked like uh, Souter had a chance there. The Big Red defeated, and I forgot to say this about North Dakota and uh, Bemidji State, but the Big Red defeated uh, Michigan and Boston College to get to this point, and Minnesota State defeated Maine and UMass Lowell, uh, two of the better goalies, big goalies there uh, with the Tyler Wall and Swayman. Um, so, well, the Mavericks about to go on a power play. Now, Cornell, uh, the Big Red is uh, going there, and Morgan Barron is probably their best player um, on the skating end, uh, he is going to the box. In case you're wondering what the uh, last games here, North Dakota uh, had defeated American International and also defeated uh, Clarkson to go to that point. Both were 2-1 victories in overtime, which is a little interesting. Or actually, 3-2 victory, I guess, uh, against Clarkson. Oh, Ooh, big <laughs> That big was a there. big save. Hmm. Bemidji State. Oh my, offside. That was probably the best save I've seen in the in this tournament. Okay. Bemidji State had won six to three against Denver and four to one against Arizona State, and now they had the two to one victory against uh, North Dakota to get them to the finals. Uh, Minnesota State won one to nothing against Maine in that big goalie matchup, and then also a uh, five to two. I'm sorry, five to one against UMass Lowell. And Cornell won four to one against Michigan and three to nothing against Boston College. So we've had these teams have had sometimes a tough game, sometimes easy. So we'll see if that adds up to anything here. Now it looks like uh, we have McKay getting it off to Souter, but uh, oop, Souter offside. <laughs> now Cornell is back to force in full strength, and uh, we are back to regular hockey. Still a tie game with 5:47 left. Big drive by Tommy. 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 <laughs> yeah, you're getting confused. Now I've, I've been talking about Tommy in the last game so much. Now I <laughs> mispronounced Tommy. Yep, Parker Tommy. Even, even yeah. though he's on our, our home team, yeah. Yeah, well, that happens sometimes. Whoa, big drive. I think we've seen who that was, and Cornell's going to eat that one. <clears throat> Another big goalie matchup here. Uh, Cornell, uh, Matthew... Galahada, uh, Galahada. Wow, was, that guy just keeps saving one-timers. Yeah. Galahada was uh, 23, 2, and 4 with a 1.56 goals against average and 9.31 save percentage. And uh, Dryden McKay, 30, 40, <laughs> 3, 30, 4, and 2 with a 3 or 1.31 goals against average and 9.42 save percentage. Ten shutouts on the year uh, for the Mavericks McKay and five for Galahada. So, definitely a big one. Uh-oh. Now the Mavs look like they're going to have to go kill a penalty here. <clears throat> well, I guess uh, about a minute and a half worth anyway. Coming down here with uh, Connor Mackey. Oh, couldn't quite pull the trigger there. It was Toomey. There, I said it right. <laughs> oh, that's a good little move and offside. So looking at some of the uh, other cool stats here, uh, number one against goals against this year were the Mavericks. Number two against goals against in the, all the country, Cornell. So we have two of the best uh, defensive teams in the in the world here. Uh, Mavericks are number one in points per game, and Cornell was number six. So really big up on that one too. So we have a, a lot of firepower in this one. Oh, there, 
Michaelis just couldn't quite get it over that shoulder. A good shoulder. A good uh, try over the shoulder, though. Here comes Toomey. Big blast. Nothing going. All right. Two minutes left. Everybody's full strength. That's debatable. Always were. Oh, offside. Charlie Gerard got in there just a bit early. Minute 49 now left. We have Napravnik coming in. Oh, that was a little sneaky try that didn't quite go for him. Now Cornell coming down the ice. Big shot there. And we have a face-off coming up. <laughs> we have uh, Drads coming down. Nothing happening there, though. Like passing it right to himself there. Oh, the Mavericks kept it in the zone. Nathan Smith tries a little backhander, doesn't quite go. Coming down with a number 54 for Cornell. And I'm wondering if I just didn't change some of the numbers on Cornell. Because a lot of these guys, I'm not recognizing their number. Which sometimes happens when you're getting busy and you're trying to get stuff done. Ooh, big save at the end of the period, making sure that it stays a 0-0 game. Let's take a look at some of the stats. Once I scored seven seconds into a period. That's pretty tough to do on this one because it's period seconds go so quickly in this version. Yeah, I scored seven seconds in. Looked like the Mavericks had a little bit more shots on goal first period, but it doesn't matter because it's both a tie game right now. Cornell coming down. Oh, tripped up. Oh my! He would have one time that he had it. That would have been a great one-timer. That would have been. Oh, kept it in the zone to me. Oh, he's... Yeah. He rebound, goals it back, hands are in. There's yeah. a one nothing game. Yeah, the goalie put his foot back instead of keeping it out. Well, you know, it, in real life, it'd be hard to keep your balance if you had your foot out that long. So, uh, Offside? Nope, stays onside. I'm nope. ready to do a good job there of uh, making sure that they didn't get offside. That looks like it's Yanni Kaldis. Maverick's taking it. Here's Michaelis coming down on the ice. Oh, looked like for a second there he had a chance. And a real ugly kind of goal, but nothing there. Stays on side. Nice job, but uh, 28. Brendan Locke just couldn't quite get it over the McKay's shoulder there. Ooh, oh my. <laughs> hey, you may give it, uh, you probably won't give a save to Sam Malinsky on that one, but he really did save it. Uh, big line change there for the big red. And apparently offside. And the big red has a big number for somebody. Yeah, I think I must have just forgot to change that one from the old version or whatever that guy had. So it sometimes happens. Try to get those all done in a hurry so we could get this tournament rolling. All righty, so here we have number 19 for big red. Oh, my! I thought uh, Michael Regish may have had a chance there, but McKay was up for the challenge. <clears throat> here comes... Uh, Drads, but nothing going, but there is now a penalty coming up. Two minutes for roughing on Cam Donaldson. I may not have all the right numbers, but I definitely have all the right names. <laughs> Hopefully uh, I didn't mess up too much on that. Uh, Big Red coming down, said who needs a power play? And McKay was up for the, the slapper there. Gets it to Shide. Now... The big red coming in, number 15, and Ax, or Max Adriv. And uh, Souter keeps it going. And Toomey, oh, tries the backhander, tries the forehander. Toomey's getting lots of shots here. Ooh, big save again. Not doing really uh, a whole lot of damage on this power play other than Toomey's two shots there. A lot of them have been coming down the other way to big red. To me again over the shoulder, though. It might be offside if the Mavericks do touch it. And now we might have an icing if McKay doesn't touch it. Oh, apparently they... That's right. <laughs> They're on the power play. No wonder. All right. Here we go. Gerard's coming down. Nothing going. Oh, Gerard with a big try. He knocked him down. But what do you think the call was? Offside? Yes. <laughs> Those will happen. Those will happen. All right. one nothing game still for the Mavericks here. Big Red coming down. Ooh, that would have been a big goal, but nothing going. McKay was there again. Oh, the Big Red coming down the ice. Ooh, they're coming out all pretty slow. Looks like they may need a line change, and there they go. 
One guy stays back. Oh, big try for a pass there. A little too hard from Hookinson. We have Gerrads and uh, Smith playing a little back and forth, and Gerard with the attempt. Offside. Still 1 0, 233 left. Let's see what we have on this face off here. Oh, a penalty coming up on the Mavericks. Ooh, my, he would have had an open shot, huh? Oh, my God. Oh, there oh, it is. Man. Tornell scores. I was That's just from Bernard. I was just about to say, he is, like, going to keep, he is shooting a lot. <laughs> yeah, he could have scored maybe twice on that one, even as good as McKay is. Uh, that was a great setup by Betts. All right, we have a 1-1 game here, a brand new ball game, as they say, except this is a puck game. And here we have Toomey trying to get the Mavericks back at the lead. Oh, almost knocked him off. Shied uh, got it in close, but uh, Toomey couldn't finish it. And now we have another penalty on the Mavericks. Oh my, that looked like it would be another one of those rebound goals. <clears throat> Toomey uh -huh. said his name a lot here. Now he's going to the box. Just, just like from... From Tommy, he, he we said his name a lot. <laughs> we did, yeah, because Miggy was passing a lot. Well, a good idea for McKay to hold it there, keeping it a one-to-one -one game. All right, whoa, big blast off the faceoff. Looking like uh, the Mavericks are trying to get out of the zone, but didn't do a very good job there. They could have just uh, shot it down. Hooking in with it, and there he's got a, a streaker going, and I think that guy's going to be offside if he does touch it. Nope. Oh, the Mavericks got a last second shot there. Going to the third. 1 1 game. Mavericks still got to kill off 58 seconds. Oh, 20 to 18 shots. Mavericks lead by two in that category. Uh, lead by the attack zone by about 50 seconds. So, pretty close. And we go to the third. It's even closer on the scoreboard. 1 to 1. Here comes Ian Shy down the ice. Nothing going there. Big Red uh, still on the power play. And, uh, oh my, that was a big, big one time. That was a great play. Uh, but McKay was up for it. He stood right in the way. Here comes Michaelis. Ooh, one of the uh, big time shorthanded players. Um, record holder for Division I Maverick uh, history and uh, shorthanded goals. And had three this year to uh, set the record. Oh, the offside coming up here. So we are now all even again. Coming down the ice, 27. Oh my, I think that's their big dog, Morgan Barron. Yep. One to one. 8.32 left. What do you think it's going to take for the Mavericks or Cornell to take the lead here, Teddy? Probably, like, do my strategy, probably. Go across the goal net? Yeah, right, be we'll because the Mavericks have kind of been doing that. Yep, they have. They kind of, they don't shoot it at the right timing as you do, do they? Mm -mm. Uh, you got to time it out just right. Oh, my, that was a huge shot by Michaelis, but nothing going. Number 15, come, oh, oh, my, that was really dangerous. That was Max and Dreve again coming down there trying to do something. Pretty good player. He, it would have been a pretty amazing goal because it was like he got the puck right on the line, taking then he could have scored. Well, that's what? sometimes what you do. <laughs> but yes, it would have still been pretty amazing. All right, this these are the two teams with the highest winning percentage this year in college hockey. So they both know how to win. They both have played close games and they both played blowouts. So you know, only six losses between them. If, or actually seven losses between them. Six losses between the goalies playing, I believe. Oh, 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 ooh, oh, there it is! Lucas Sauter! <laughs> I'm not sure how that went in, but it did. That was what they call an wow. ugly goal, but they all wow. felt the same. Wow, what a goal! That was what something. a goal! Well, what was... a goal! One year later, what a goal! <laughs> Well, it looks like the Mavericks are now going to have to have what a power 
or power kill here, or penalty kill. Michaela's in the box, even their number one penalty, penalty kill guy there. Um, Cornell going on the power play. Ooh, well, that's a good little job there by McNeely. And offside. Oh, yep. Oh! <laughs> Doesn't count on that one, does it? All right, so no Michaelis out there. Looks like Charlie Gerard's going to be a busy guy. Sometimes those can be good if you can get somebody and then just shoot it all the way down again. So to me, I think the goal in the in this tournament that that was that had, that to me I think had the had like the worst move in it was probably the first round with Minnesota State and Cornell. The, remember the winning goal about with Minnesota State? Okay, but who you mean the when they were playing in Maine? Yeah, that's okay. what I meant. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I do remember the uh, the Charlie. Uh, no, it was the uh, Dallas Durads, wasn't it? Oh my, that was a <laughs> uh -huh. little dangerous. And, uh, and the goalie passed passed it right to uh, Durads, who was right in front of him. That's right. Yep. And looks like another. And it was another penalty on the Mavericks. Yep. Uh, Andy Carroll with the penalty there. Um, lucky for him, he got right in the way there to keep a, a shot from coming because still two to two to one here. Uh, Cornell coming on there. There's Morgan Barron. Oh, my! <laughs> Morgan Barron just about tied it up there. McKay, um, bad turnover, but a great save. Actually, I think it was just one of those glitches, I you think, so? where, where, like, the puck is actually, doesn't actually hit it, but it does, it's right by it and still counts for a save. You might be right. Pretty sure that's happened, but okay. I could be wrong. The Pravnik tries to go backhand, doesn't quite get there. Two and a half minutes left. Cornell is going to look for something here. Napravnik tried to wait him out a little bit. Well, now the Mavericks are full strength with a minute 56 left. And again, in a real hockey game, if I, if I knew that how to get to the code, I tried to get to the code to change this, but I couldn't. Um, in a real hockey game, they'd be pulling their goalie almost assuredly once they got going down the ice here. But um, in the old NHL 94, unfortunately, they... Uh, they just keep them in. Oh, here comes Michaelis on a breakaway. Oh, oh my! Big save there by Galahada. He was uh, up for that challenge. That was a tough one with Michaelis right there. It could be an icing call. Oh, Cornell uses their advantage to the old touch-up icing rule and uh, keeps it going. Oh, offside. Oh, that guy really went fast. <laughs> 40 seconds left. Pretty exciting here, getting near the end. And there we have a guy coming down with a big drive. And uh, here we have Reggie Lutz. And they got 13 seconds left. I think the Mavericks are going to do it. They're going to get to the championship game here. Lots of extra shots there at the end, but it doesn't matter. The Mavericks have won. Dryden McKay, player of the game, with Parker Toomey and Lucas Souter. Big game for the Mavericks to go. Now, we didn't get to see the the WCHA championship this year, which many people thought could include Bemidji State and Minnesota State. Looks like we're going to get to see that in the national championship. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's take a look at <laughs> a highlight from the game here. Uh, apparently, we get to see a little bit of U uh, Air Force versus AIC. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. All right. Minnesota State, two goals and 32 shots. We had Cornell with one out of 28. Um... The Mavericks own the zone for a little over a minute more, so I think that was a big deal to them. Uh, one more face-off, had more body checks, played a little bit more physical. And there you go. We'll see you later. A bobbling Mavericks production. I can I listen to it?